Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Netcode. In this video, I'm going to show a small demo, but trust me that, is, that you will love it and it's very, very handy feature. Okay. So let's go to our, any of the uh, old code that is page object model. So I believe you remember all those tutorial, right? Here, what I have done is I have done some small modification just to show this demo. So consider that we have a folder called POM and within that we have like something like let code modules and within that we have another folder called credentials and within that we have like common page header page and the login page okay that is how we write the page object model and if you see this is our this all our old code so i'm using the uh, dollar sign but you know uh, if you're getting started now of course you should use the locator even if you have already started and you are using dollar, I will recommend you to change the uh, dollar to locator because that is what officially Playwright team has said. Okay. Okay. What I'm trying to say here is basically we have three pages and uh, three classes basically, right? Now, if I go to the fixture, right? So we have used this fix fixture concept and within this, we are using this base, base uh, test as a fixture, right? So within this we are creating these types or we can directly use like this so like what are the pages we have to use we are going to uh, mention it here right uh, now here what i have to do i have to say like dot dot slash that means i'm traversing to the parent and from there again i'm going to the pom folder let code models folder credentials and then i'm accessing this particular class right sometimes you might also see like dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash then followed by some uh, folder name right so if your test is within some nested modules then or nested uh, folder then of course you have to use multiple dot dot modules and even this will be very tedious very tough to remember or like uh, mention the path always right so i'm going to give you a shortcut not shortcut actually it's a typescript feature that can mean that we can leverage very easily okay so what i hope you understood the concept okay now let me go to my test first and this is the page object model test here also you can see like we are using like dot dot slash dot dot slash just in case if i'm going to uh, create another folder let's say that my, this is going to be my part of smoke folder and within the smoke folder i'm going to create another folder as like uh, uh, what we can say like uh cms prod probably like credential management system something like that and i'm going to move my this form dot test to the cms folder okay now you can see uh of course the typescript has the feature of uh changing the path automatically uh so here you can select instead of dot slash it's now changed to dot dot slash dot dot slash right but of course it will be uh not that easy to remember and also it looks ugly right so let's fix it up so first of all go to your tsconfig.json and here we have to say like base url and i'm going to use my base as dot and that means the current project okay and then followed by here we have to mention the path so what is path in the sense like uh instead of this right dot dot slash dot dot slash right so this is basically a path so we are going to give a allies to it okay let's see how to do it so first of all we will say like I want something like at the rate and i will say like pages slash star okay and then followed by basically it accept an array so within the array we will give our actual path okay so where my page is currently in the sense it is in the palm folder within that let code models within that credentials right so right click copy relative path and here we'll paste it and instead of this single slash you can change to this um, forward or backward whatever this slash you have to change it okay and this at is not mandatory but this slash star is mandatory here as well as here as well okay so what this slash star in the sense like after that all the files okay and here also like when we call this pages like within the pages all the files we are going to access okay similarly let's create for uh the fixture so comma then followed by uh without at also we can create i will just show you the demo but it is recommended to use that the rate so we will understand easily that hey this is the path which is coming from uts config file okay uh yeah so now here again we'll give the array and where is my fixture in the sense it is in the root folder directly within that we have something called fixture correct so here why oh, this is showing error 
yeah so here i will say like fixtures and forward by slash star that means any files uh after the folder and that is the folder name okay and similarly you can use this for your data like if you have json file in a folder collections of json you can use that uh, some people having issue with the upload files like they are not able to define the path right so here you can easily say that like for example here i can say like at the rate files and what are the files we want to uh, upload we can access those by saying directly like this okay so here i can say like uh, some folder then followed by like files let's say that within the files i have all the files okay or i'll just name like upload folder and here i will give it like this okay so this is also cool uh, you can use like this so uh, yeah i'll show you how to import this now okay and this yeah fine now let me go to the test first right so here instead of dot slash dot slash dot slash what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this and here i'm going to say like at the rate and here you can see we are getting the files and the pages as well so here i can select pages then followed by uh, that is a login page right so here we are getting the options okay that's a very simple thing uh, I think you are expecting so this should be from the uh, why it's showing error the model page dot login page okay it should be not the what was there earlier sorry it is the base page right so if we have to call the fixture yeah we have to call the fixture but if I give at the rate I'm not able to get the fixture because in my ts config file I didn't give the at the rate symbol right so here I can directly say like uh fixture that should come properly okay so then i can say like uh, what was that base page correct so here i can give like base page okay that's it it will work fine but uh, it is a good practice to follow like at the rate then followed by the name so that we'll easily understand like this is coming from ts config and this is a path allies okay so i'm going to copy this guy and paste over here and similarly for data if you want to change like dot dot slash data you can do the same okay now let's go to our uh, page object model so here uh, if you go here it no problem and one more place there will be a problem yeah this one base page right so in the base page also you can see like we have like a uh, form let code modules credentials and then followed by the page instead of that what can i do is simply i can say like actually i did a mistake here uh, this is page this is picture yeah correct only so here instead of this long path i can simply say like at the rate pages then slash uh, login page okay so that's very very easy and here we'll change the rest of the things as well okay so at the rate page pages yeah that's it very cool neat and clean so instead of writing a long path you can just use this one okay just in case if we have any doubt we can run this and test so i'm going to search this test in my playwright test runner and here it is if we click on this execute this uh, icons are sometimes not showing but if you refresh and search it will definitely show i think let's go and do that uh, come on yeah so it's showing now okay so let's go and run this we can see the execution part as well okay so that's it uh, it's very easy of course it's going to run so instead of writing like long path you can just uh, give the allies and you can use it uh, like this okay so that's it from my side i think it's very easy you don't really don't need a recap for this but definitely try it yourself and do let me know in the comments if you have any queries thanks for watching see you in the next one Bye bye. take care